gonna uh, have a look at the push loop. Now, uh, for you guys that have tried any back loops, if you've thrown yourself around in a back loop, you may be coming down tail first, and it's kind of a push loop. Um, now, if you want to know the rotation of this one, basically, first of all, let's just talk about the, uh, the ramp selection. Now, we've spoke about the forward with a more forward momentum jump. Now, the push loop we want to take off, just like a back loop, really, that real vertical part of the wave where it's just going to throw you up. Now with a push loop, what we're doing is we're going up, we're rotating, then we're floating down. It's not like a back loop where we drop down. If we go up, we rotate at the top, and then we drop down. As you're going into it, you, you want to go into it like a back loop, so bear away a little bit and then carve up into the, the, the nice big face that you got in front of you. The bigger the better, definitely with a push loop. I know it sounds a little bit more crazy, but the higher you go, the more chance you've got to rotate round. Now, the most common mistake with people with push loops is they try and throw it before the sails really or the boards really left the wave you want to really really throw yourself up and that, that that real like really try to the peak of the jump before you rotate round so you're going into it as, as you compress in as you throw you go wolf you go up you throw that front leg and there's that rocket air again you're throwing yourself up now when you're ready to rotate if you look over your shoulder some people look at the top of the mast I personally look over the shoulder but it's whatever gets you to rotate round at the same time, what we're doing is pulling in with that front arm. Now, if you're the eye of the wind and I take off and I go up, now from here, I'm heading to wind. Now, if I pull in with that front arm and let my front arm sheet out, that then will pull me round. Now, what I do with the front arm is as I pull in, it pulls in and it goes across my body and then I extend it out. So there's that small to tall again. So I'm going up, I'm small like this, like a bat loop, I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna pull in with my front arm and push and the reason why it's called a push loop, here's the push, you push with the back hand. So as you're going up, you pull in with the front arm that starts the rotation, with your head you're gonna look either at the top of the mast or over your shoulder, okay? And that's then you pull in with that front arm, you're gonna push and let the clue go through the eye of the wind and that's what pulls you around. Then from here, with the front arm, I'm gonna bring it all the way across my body and extend it in front of me and that's gonna slow the rotation. So we're going around, we're going to initiate the rotation of that front arm, so we're going to pull in with our front arm, that's going to bring the clue round. Now from here, classic, is people just keep that front arm extended in front, but what we need to do is push it out in front of us. So as we come around, we're just going to push the sail in front of us, and what will happen as we're coming in, we push the sail in front of us, the board will drop under our feet, and then we can land and sheet in the push loop. Now a big thanks to uh, the Push Loop Diaries from Windsurf TV, Ben Prophet and The Voice uh, for helping me get over the fear of push loops. Now I recently just learned this move and what really helps me is that to slow it all down is a typical thing as you drop out the sky now you're going to fall onto your kit and that's why it's really good to then extend that sail and just push that sail away from you. And what helps me too and a really good top tip from The Voice was bringing your hands slightly closer together. Now, on the back loop, we have it quite wide because we need to control that clue. Now with the push loop, having our hands a little bit closer together will give us that big throw up. And as we come round, instead of having our that hand there and it pulling us forward, by having it there, we can really get the sail in front of us and bring the board under our bum. So try top tip with those hands a bit closer together. Now, of course, you know, brazinho has been ripping on the PWA. We're gonna go and have uh, Brazinho's top tips for his uh, push loops and maybe ask him how to tweak it a little bit, but uh, over to Brazinho. It's always been, you, you have the tweak push loop and the normal push loop. Um, people say it's a lot easier in the back loop. I've seen a lot of people go for back loops and you go Rah! like this and do like land just as push loop. I think that my first efforts years ago were kind of push loops. Top tip. Uh, there is two ways of doing the push loops. The yep. traditional one, you kind of want the same type of ramp that you go on a back loop, a very vertical ramp. And then you you jump, you don't need to rush it right away, but when you feel like you got as, as high as you're going to go, you just can look straight back like you want to look at the top of your mast. And your body follows kind of where you're looking at. So if you just look like that, your gear is going to spin and then you're going to be on top of your sail. And when you are, you're gonna feel like you're gonna be falling right on top of your sail, but it's fine. You just push on your back hand, 
and then the wind will hit from under you and you will lift your sail back up so you just push and when you feel like your sail is up then you can kind of sheet in again so you don't land flat so then you can actually land really nice and soft yeah i think that's a lot of the time people yeah bang, that's because they push hard, and yeah. they just kind of go flat but if you push enough that you can lean back and sheet in sheet a little bit and you then you get soft with the tail and yeah, that's the one nice one I'm gonna pick your brain next year about the uh, push loop forward, but I think that's the next level. But um, okay. and uh, so and the tweak push loop looks pretty sicker. Like yeah, they, they call it the tabletop push loop. Yeah, the tweak push loop it's uh, it's a completely different technique. Yeah. For this, I feel like you all you also want a vertical ramp, but you might want to set up going a little bit more downwind than what you go for a normal push loop, and you also want to give it a little bit more time before you spin but once you jump you're not really gonna look back like on a normal one you're kind of gonna wait and then you're kind of gonna throw your sail this way almost like you're doing a quarter yeah, on the right. other tack yeah, but yeah. not really so you, you go straight up and when you feel like you're as vertical as you're gonna get instead of going like this you kind of push the sail that way and just remember to leave your back foot stretched so that way the board can get the tweak and then once you're on top of your sail you kind of gonna push in your backhand, but you you almost like floating forward, and sometimes you can almost land plenty out yeah, of them yeah, because yeah. the motion of that move you kind of much more like I, flying forward a little bit. I always kind of get to the tweakage and then just stay there. I don't know how to get back around. Yeah, to get back around, you just, you just have to push on the backhand. When you're on top of the sail and you feel like you're gonna land on the sail, just remember that always if you push your backhand. The wind's going to react from yeah. under you and then your sail's going to come back up. So I think shove it's a pretty good move to learn for kind of end yeah, of a push loop. Yeah, the, the end of a, of a shove it is the same it's end a as a tweak push loop or not. So uh, yeah, for people at home that, you know, maybe to shove it and then go on for the push if they're struggling yeah. to land it. Hey, yeah, and it's also up. not scary because even if your sail doesn't come back up, you always learn that you can just let go of your backhand and, and fall in front of the mast the other yeah. side and you're always going to be underwater. And that's with a tweak or both of them? Just with a tweak? I mean, if you feel like you're not going to yeah, yeah, be enough, you can just always like go bail. bail for yeah, it's important how you do learn to wipe out in certain ways yeah. though, to save yourself. Hey, thanks a lot, dude. Thank you. Cheers, man.